Hello everyone. Uh, today is a little bit different video. I'm going to uh, explain how everything started with just these three devices. Um, back in 2000, and I would say six, seven. This was my first little server. It had a, uh, I think it was an Intel. Celeron or something like that, and I installed um, Windows Server 2003 on it. Did some basic things and stuff like that. Well, then the motherboard fried and gave up. So then I upgraded the parts and rebuilt this thing. Kept the same chassis, same case, and everything, all that. And added a Cooler Master PSU. I put an AMD Athlon 64 CPU in there. It has uh, 4 gigs of RAM memory with one one stick. Um, I guess, of course, good old IDE. That's where the drives are plugged up, along with some, some uh, um, SATA. Uh, so this was my little server. No virtualization, no nothing. It was just very basic. Um, and it had two drives. And if I could find them, I will show you which drives I had in there. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Put that puppy there. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha, good old IDE. So this was the first drive I have ever had in this computer. I'm trying to see how much memory this thing was. So as you can see, the S4000NX. S4000 NX. I believe this is a 40 gigabyte drive. Yep, 40 GB. I have marked it down on there. So that's what that was. Let's put those back. So, but yeah, so that was that. And then, a few years later down the road, I wanted to get into the virtualization. So then actually, I built some more server servers. Um, I had this one and one more, but it's not here, it's been sold. Um, so I kept this one just, just for memories. So this one was a AMD FX. I went with the cheaper route. Um, and with uh, 16 gigabytes of memory. They're all four gig sticks. I had a GPU. Um, I had to put it after. Actually, this motherboard doesn't support GPU, so that actually has to have it. Um, and I had a chassis with drives here, but I removed it, so I left it alone. So right now, this thing just has a, a 7200 RPM SATA drive. It's a Dell uh, Enterprise uh, lap laptop drive, but honestly, it's a server. So how it started was this server was hosting a lot of other things. I had Windows Server 2008, the very first one. I had uh, Hyper-V installed on it, and I had few servers. I had the main OS did the file server, and then the Hyper-V did a game server for Minecraft, um, a few other things, so my friends can play on. Uh, I did a VPN server, and uh, two others that I can't remember off the top of my head. Well, well, when I outgrew this thing, I ran out of storage, ran out of memory, and uh, had to go to the next thing. But this switch right here went th with me through these two servers. This con interconnected my whole house back in those days. It was a 10100 Linksys. It was decent for when I needed it before, but now I just keep it as a a door holder. I mean, just more of an object now as a memory than actually. It's hard for me to get rid of it because it actually went through a lot of tough times. <laughs> so, but yeah, with these two things, I have expanded to full enterprise equipment which you see here um, I'm working on it on um, some few things taking off the thing I'm actually selling my Dell 6248P it's in very mint condition so I'm getting rid of it that's why it's not there I'm going to replace it with a Cisco uh, CS4948 uh, 48 port switch and that's why I uh, got rid of it just want to try out some other stuff but um yeah so from two servers that are here 
I went to something to here. So, I mean, that's a big, big upgrade. I mean, I have a much larger uh, infrastructure. It's all virtualized, and I mean, everything is redundant to a certain point. Um, but that's how my whole little GNET data center started. Is just a little history behind it. And the internet before was a 1.5 megabit uh, connection through Centrally from DSL. And then I upgraded once we moved into a better area to Centrally um, 40 megabit down and around 18 up. And then I was like, you know what, I'm tired of this. So I went to Comcast. Comcast Business, as you guys can see. It is 127 down and uh, around 30 tops, 30 megabits down, I mean up. So, big difference, static IPs, you got five of them. So, but yeah, there's a little story behind this, why it's been done and stuff like that. And yeah, thanks for subscribing, like, share the video, um, and stay tuned for more videos to come. Thanks, bye-bye.